it, it's like Armageddon here. There's nobody on the road, nothing. Absolutely nobody. Um, there's not one vehicle on the road. It's, there's a few, you know, service vehicles like um, police cars and and fire trucks, but they're just kind of, uh, they're in a daze. I think they're, they've just been going nonstop. We stay in uh, Kimberley, which is uh, basically on the north side of town. The fire came from the south side of town. We had a, we, we have a big schoolyard behind us, which is a huge barrier compared to us where the green belt is, where the fire would have happened. And the fire actually didn't even hit there. It went directly right around us like a horseshoe. You only saw the smoke, you couldn't see the flames unless you were on top of the roof of the house. So I put a garden hose up there with a with a sprinkler and wet, uh, wet down the house. So, Well, we had a couple neighbors that were all watching each other. Uh, we had put a bunch of hoses together and put them, our vehicles in the schoolyard field. And uh, we stayed up pretty much all night long, make sure that none of the ambers landed in our vehicles and had the water running ready to roll and to put up the fire if a fire did happen. Well, we thought we were in, the, in a fairly safe area I didn't want to get caught on the 63 when the fire moved that way down towards there and into a gridlock situation. I thought that would be a more dangerous situation. It wasn't It wasn't really a protecting the property situation. It was, do I want to get stuck in a gridlock situation where if a fire did happen and I'm on the 63 and I get surrounded by it because the wind did shift uh, east on us, right? And that went right towards the uh, 63. I thought it'd be just a gridlock situation. I would be safer where I am. At least I can move if I need to you know, get out of trouble, and yeah, that was my situation, and I didn't, uh, it was basically, the cops said, the police officers had asked us if, um, you know, we're staying or we're leaving, they asked us to go, and they said, okay, we'll leave a number for your next of kin, that's pretty much what they had said to other people, not, not me personally, but what I, what I had heard.